everyone, it's Kendall here. I know I've never been more attractive than I am at this very moment in time. I know. <laughs> Lady like. But basically, I'm just about to do, you know, a chill story time, get ready with me type thing because I haven't done one of these in a really, really long time. So before I take these glasses off, I know someone's gonna be like, those are different. They are different. These are like a gold version of my actual glasses. These don't have prescriptions in them. I got it at like a random store in the Gangnam Station. I believe they were like 11 bucks. Okay, so no makeup because there's a bunch of skincare stuff that I want to try out. I can't try it out all at the same time because like I only have one face. This is the Leader's Detox and Chill Charcoal Purifying Mask. Um, this mask claims to be soothing and calming with intense hydration. It exfoliates, anti-age and nourishing, radiance, revitalization, purifying, and pore refining. Whoa, okay. I'm surprised this isn't like geared towards dudes because you know, hyper masculinity. Yeah, like, I, you know, I might be putting on my skincare, but it's black, so it's like hard and menacing. Ooh, this feels nice, ooh. So far that, <laughs> Ooh, sexy. So far that cooling thing is very, very true. <laughs> it also fits really well on my face, but leaders masks tend to fit very well for some reason. I don't know what they do to make their masks fit really well to faces, but. Okay, so I just realized it's gonna be really, really hard for me to talk with this on, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the camera off and then come back to you guys when I get onto the other stuff, so. Uh They did it again, man. Leaders. Every time I take off a leader's mask, it's just like, oh, so good. Ooh, I can't wait to use that in winter, whoa. It's something about using leader's mask though, I will say, that whenever I put on my makeup, it just goes on so much smoother. I don't know what is going on. You guys have seen me use like some of their other masks and I'm like, do you see the do? I see the do. All right, new cream from the wonderful people when I was at uh, Daya. This is the Rebalance Marine Moisture Water Cream. I wonder is this gonna be too heavy? Ooh, it's a gel cream, so probably not. But since I just did the leader's mask, I don't wanna put too much more on my skin because I don't wanna really overload it. I've come to realize that my skin is a very less is more type environment. As much as I love kind of the whole, oh yeah, 10 step, you know, pamper yourself type thing. I've come to realize that doing that every day is just not something that's conducive for my skin. To each their own, I try to keep my uh, step somewhere around three to five. If you are interested in my, kind of like how I'm doing my skincare recently, let me know. I can do like an updated video on that. But yeah, story time. I don't know what I'm gonna call this. I think I'll call it basically, I'm breaking up with MB2. Yeah, like, and I know some of you guys are gonna be like so like, about that. <laughs> like me and MB2 have had really good times together. We've made a lot of memories together. You know, met some very interesting people. And I just kind of think, I don't know if it's I'm changing or the club's changing, but we are on different wavelengths right now. And I think I'm gonna have to find a new club when I go back to Korea. I'm sorry guys. Like, like I'll still go back probably, let's be real, but it's like not something I'm really having a lot of anticipation about recently. And I can't really explain why. I don't know what it is. I think it was because, I don't think it was the people I went with, cause I've gone with some of these people before to this club and then I don't think it's like the music because the music was really really good I don't know it's just like wasn't feeling it I think that's what happens when you have all these expectations maybe I was just disillusioned because I had so much weird crap happen like on the way to the club those are gonna be different story times I can't on my way out of the club I met people like right outside of the club I'm not finding that inside of the club is where I'm like having these really funny experiences. So like maybe I don't even need to go in anymore type thing, I don't know. Oh, my skin feels good, girl. I just realized I have absolutely no new foundation like base product, so I'm just gonna do that really quick so I don't waste your time with that and then we can get started on the rest of the- but Yeah, like I was saying before, I feel like MB2 is starting to lose its like appeal to me and it's really strange. I don't know if it's because like I'm no longer a college student so it's not like a, oh yeah well I don't expect better. <laughs> because like when you're in college you're like you know what whatever I, I go to the trashiest places possible but like now that I'm not in college it's just like I'm technically like a, an adult 
now, right? Like an actual adult. And I'm just like, uh, I don't think this is like my scene anymore. Like, I still love the music, so I would still be down to go to a place that had similar music, because, you know, good music is good music. I think the final straw, like when I was starting to realize that this isn't the place that I had fallen in love with anymore, and I don't know why, maybe I'm different, or maybe, <laughs> I'm talking about this like it's a breakup, but like, we're just, we're in different places now, me and MV2. Is that blending weird, or is that just me? I think this is like the third time we went this trip because I kept going back thinking like it's just the night like this night is a little off this light is a little off but literally every night was a little off I'm taking this so serious but I'm like it's a serious thing um because a lot of people go to mb2 off of my is are these videos a suggestion I don't know Kind of starting off the night, I was like, I'm gonna be Rebecca. Rebecca's gonna come out. She's gonna be a thing. She's gonna be, like, I think a lot of people think it's like, necessarily I'm going out there and gonna be lying about like my background and like my my history and stuff. And it's like, no, that wasn't really what I was thinking. It was just like, she's my alter ego, Rebecca. She's this like fearless, uber confident, uber like obnoxious girl that like pulls out of the boy. But the problem is Rebecca went into that club and she didn't want nobody. <laughs> I was so disappointed. I was so sad. And I think kind of the final straw was when a guy tried to make out with me. Earlier prior to going out, I was like, yeah, I got, I, I'm down to make out with somebody. <laughs> Like if he's cute, like it's. I mean, Rebecca Kim. Rebecca Kim. I might even have like a clip of me like being angry that I didn't make out with anyone. What is up, guys? So we just came from NB2. It's literally only 12:40 on a Tuesday. Yep. How do you feel, Kendall? Damn. I want to make out with somebody. <laughs> we're not putting that in the vlog. I think it's just because like regardless of the, of the, the copious amounts of um, soju or what other, whatever other poison, I don't unleash. I'm just not a person that unleashes, um, which is both good and bad because I always end up being the mother of all situations and, and a lot of times that's very necessary. And then I'm like going through the crowd and this guy sees me, of course make eye contact, and it was the strangest like progression of events. Like I was near the bar and he was at the bar, he was sitting at the bar and he's like, hey, like in English, like, like we know each other, like, hey, how are you? And I look at him and I'm like, do I know you? Keep in mind, it's dark. People are allowed to smoke in MB2, so it's foggy. So like he takes my hand and he interlaces his finger and he just burrows his eyes into mine. My loopy self like, do I know you? Cause I know a lot of Asians. I've ran into like random like college <laughs> people I know like in clubs and it's always mad awkward. Especially because like a lot of them I know in like a very professional, I knew in a very professional like connotation. Like, oh, I didn't expect to see you here, Kendall. You seem so prim and proper and I'm like, Oh my God, I wanna die. I was trying to figure out if this was a dude that I knew in like some past life of mine. So we're like boring in each other's eyes for I would say like a solid 10 to 20 seconds. Or it just felt like forever for some reason. We're just looking at each other like this. I don't know what this looks like. I wanna get it on, like I wanna, I wanna kiss your face, I wanna make out with you. I was just staring at him in confusion. He goes in, the, partially the thing that makes me mad about how he went in is he went in with one of these. He went in with some butthole lips, I'm like, wait. <laughs> how we do? Not that I'm expecting him to go like dead fish, like, uh, but something about, like are we in kindergarten, like what are we? I was still so taken aback by the situation that actually I was going through a crowd with my friend and she pulled one of these in front of him. She was like, nope, nope, she's not interested, bye bye. And also there was like, I got stalked on the first time we went and then I got like, that, that'll be another story because I, I, I don't want to overwhelm you. And then just weird stuff happened the second time. Again, I'll get to that some other time. Maybe I'll do another Sunday, what is that called? Storytime Sunday month, maybe September. Storytime Sunday, September. <sighs> In good old Kendall fashion, I attract weirdos. I don't attract people that like even try to have a conversation first. Like no one, no one, no one does that. So I think next time I go back, I will be focusing more on like the smaller places, smaller, more intimate places. I was talking to some subscribers that I ran into outside of MB2 and they were kind of voicing the same thing. They were like, I don't know what's going on. It's like not popping. 
Like it's just not popping. And I can't quite put my finger on why it wasn't popping that entire time. I kinda sorta wanna do a pink mauve liner, but I don't know if it'll show up over these like darker shadows. Okay, we're gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna take the Etude House Proof Pencil Liner Gel, Fuchsia Pink, and we're gonna see what it do. Ah! Oh no, it broke! That showed up better than I expected it to. Yeah, we got we got us a little liner thing going on. At TBH, I'm really excited about this color. This is in rose brown. Oh my god, it's actually showing up. That is incredibly unexpected. Update, just put a little liner and that actually made it kind of cool. Like I can kind of see it. But this eyeshadow, though, I don't know how I fit. That looks blotchy to me. I don't know. I don't know, I like the eyeshadows at first, but for some reason they're looking, they're giving me blotchy blotch, dude. That, that, that does not look good. <laughs> And that's not really blending out very well. Okay. Uh, I might have to say pass on the Nature Republic, the shadow palette. This is the Nature Republic Pro Touch Color Master Shadow Palette. That doesn't look very good in my opinion. Like, yeah. I kind of want to take my eye makeup off. But it gives me an opportunity to show you guys my taquiza. I swear by these. I was in Korea, I bought two packs and I was sent one pack and I don't ever want to use another makeup wipe ever again because check it. Who is that girl I see staring straight back at me? Where will my reflection show who I am inside? Oh, I love these. My God. Okay, let's try this again. I've powdered and I've concealed and powdered my lid again. I'm gonna take this color and hopefully this won't disappoint me. Another thing about this, why is there no mirror? I feel like this is the type of thing that should have a mirror, but okay, that's just me. Anyway, um, okay. I can't tell if that's applying better or worse than it did before. That's blotchy. I was rooting for this. I was rooting for subculture. What is with all the palettes? Like, what, what is going on? Like, it's not like I've never blended before, but like, what is this? Let me try a different brush. Like, am I crazy? Are y'all seeing that? Like, it refuses. Like, I'm just rubbing my brush on it and it's just like refusing to blend. I'm like scrubbing now. Like, are y'all seeing that? That's really pissing me off. Oh my God. Let's try this like mauve color right there. Maybe some of this brownie color? Like, what is this? This thing right here, that is not blended. That is like a straight up stark line. And at first I was like, am I crazy? Is that my bone structure? But no, no. I'm like smudging it with my finger and it's going away, so it's not my bone structure. Maybe let's see if we can save it because I got a similar toned palette from Etude House. But I haven't heard great things about Etude House palette shadows. I really like just their single shadows, but what is this? This is the Etude House Play Color Eyes in Cherry Blossom. It kind of looks like kids makeup, but that might be the aesthetic, so. There's this like mauve pinky color that's, uh, it's a little bit more muted than the other one I was using, but hopefully this will work better because I don't know what the crap was going on. Is it my lighting? Like, what is going on? Okay, so the Etsy House is working better than, but then again, it is trying to work over the Nature Republic. It's, oof. I am dreadfully sorry, y'all. I had to figure out what the heck I was doing with my makeup because it was just like, it felt like everything was fighting me. Everything was fighting me at every turn and it just refused to be nice to me as if I was ever rude to this makeup. So now I'm gonna do what I did on this eye to the other eye. Mm -hmm. Taking one of the few products of this entire 
thing that hasn't completely and utterly disappointed me. This is the Misha. This is the Misha Modern Shadow Itali Pri, it, Ital Prism number six rose corsage. Is that what that's supposed to be? Anyway, it's like this really pretty rose gold color. I was I was starting to believe that my bad luck with everything has slowly crept into my makeup as well, and I was just like that that just won't do. That's just how do I live? How do I how do I go on? Ooh hoo hoo. Ooh, hoo, 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 that's pretty. Going back in with this palette, taking this like rose goldy shimmery color on a on a sponge tip applicator. When's the last time you seen somebody use a sponge tip applicator? Yeah, it's going old school. This as well, actually. Maybe that'll help. Oh yeah, that helps a whole lot. Okay. So yeah, these are gonna have to be used wet. I must say, I do like these liners. I uh, I don't know if it's because of the colors though. They're a little stiff, um, but like kind of the, the, the shape of the pencil itself, kind of how thin it is, the bright colors, the cool colors, I really dig it. Take this mauve color and go under my lashes. And then take a little bit of that brown too. Mix those together and go. Okay, granted, I kind of look like I got punched in the eye, but I kind of feel like it's a look as well. So, you know, you don't have to love it. It's okay, it's makeup, it can be washed off. These are some lashes I've been loving. These are from Fancy Eyes. These are the Pretty Fancy. Miss Manga, you know what it is. I, I try other mascaras and I always come back. This is like my eighth tube of this, like let's be real. These days I'm just so afraid to say that I like things because they always get discontinued. They literally, the moment I'm like, hey everybody, like check this out, they get discontinued. This is a Milani liner, what is this called? This is the Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner. just so that we have that definition. This is the 3CE um, shadow in Chocolata. This is what I use for my nose contour. Recently, I've been kind of changing up my nose contour game, like how I do it. Um, the products are the same, but like kind of like positioning. I want to do a whole video on that because people, <laughs> people were hilarious. They were like, oh, Kendall, she got a nose job. Good job, good for her. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, um, no, this is, this is still my nose. This has always been my nose. I highly doubt that I'm just gonna wake up one day and suddenly like hate my nose. My nose is okay, I don't have a problem with it. But yeah, I kind of changed up like location of my highlight and contour when I do my foundation. So my nose looks a lot more straight, I guess, when I do my contour. Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in Medium Dark. I still haven't found anything that like takes this place, so until I do, you will see it in literally every video. How do you pronounce it? A pew. Um, and this is in Robios Tea Latte Pink 2. And I thought it would go look good with the eye. Oh, it's green of powder, so I don't think it'll be a problem since I've already like powdered my skin and stuff. That blended very well, actually. Yay, that's cute. That's pretty. Yeah, that blended out really nicely too. So that's a good one. Okay, I have another blush though. That's really pink though. That's like blue pink. Will that go well with this? I don't know. Screw it, let's, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna just mix the two. I don't, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but. So I'm gonna act like I didn't just do the rest of my makeup when my camera turned itself off. Yep, I'm gonna act like that didn't happen. Totally wearing this burgundy shirt in the last frame and I definitely had on lipstick before and like, I totally had this glow. Like, that was all in the last frame. You just missed it. <sighs> I put the blush on. It's a nice blush. It gives like a very like dewy finish if you can see that it's giving it to you right now. This is also a little bit of my finishing spray but I'll get back to that in a second. I then commenced to put on Smoked Rose by 3CE. Isn't it giving it to you? This is like, I just, the mood recipe 
line of lipsticks from 3CE. I feel like everyone should like try some of them because I've slowly but surely been gathering each color. There's five colors in total. I have four. I might just get the last one just to say I have it. Um, also might do a swatch video for you guys. Would you be interested in that? Let me know. These are really pretty. They've been out for a while though. So I don't know if you'd care, uh, but I also haven't seen any brown people trying these colors on, but these colors are very, very flattering for a lot of skin tones, so maybe I'll do that video. Let me know. That on, blended it out with my fingers. The VDL Expert Radius, Radiance Fix Mist. It gives me that pretty glow. I'm not gonna spray anymore on because I'm gonna start looking oily. Now all we need to do is pop them glasses back on and take off this little thing right here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, yes. yes. Am I giving you 90 Scary Spice? New Rev, new generation, yes. I actually did this just so I could have like pretty curls in the morning, but I kinda wanna just keep them in because like, I mean, I'm sure some people in my comments gonna be like, no, Kendall, that's not a look, but I, I didn't ask you. <laughs> this is a look for me. Oh my God, yes. Ooh, ooh. Oh, now I want some poetic justice braids. I'm just feeling very 90s. This video has been a mess, but since when are my videos not a mess? If you like this video, don't forget to like this video. Also, be sure to join me on all of my social media, Instagram, Twitter, the whole fam over there gets real lit. It's always hilarious on Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Liking really lets me know what content you guys like. So please be sure to let me know how you feel down in the liking and the thumbs up and the thumbs down part. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.